Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a metronome track because the limitation of GarageBand is that it won't export with this metronome clicking in the background. And if I have a piece of music that's in mixed meter that goes from like 6A to 3-4 or something like that, it won't change meter. It'll like whatever you set it to at the beginning, that's what it's going to be stuck on. But if I want to create some, um, if I'm in a, doing a really rhythmic piece and I want to create some subdivisions or the subdivisions change from like a triplet feel to like a duple feel, then I can uh, create a me metronome track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new track um, right here, new track, and I'm going to use MIDI right here. And what I'm going to use is percussion. And I like to use Latin because it's got like those clave sounds that have nice metronome clicking sounds. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, when I need to record, I need to record in this region right here. This is measure one. And what I need to do is now watch this arrow right here. When I hit the command, it turns into a pencil. That means it's able to edit in this region. So I'm going to click right there. Now it's ready to go. So I'm going to double click that guy. Okay, so this keyboard right here, all of these notes are assigned to some sort of Latin sound. So let me see if you can hear what these Latin sounds are. Okay, so I like that as my strong beat one and that is my beats two, three, four. Okay, so that sounds one, two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I need to look at here these notes and I'm going to make sure that it's a quarter note sound. I guess with the percussion it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm going to hit again the command button. I'm using this guy right here. Okay, I'm going to hit the command button and I'm going to give it beat one. And then I'm going to move over here to beat two. You can see here's beat two, there's beat three, and there's beat four. Okay, so here, that's beat, two, um, that's this weaker beat. So I'm going to go beat two. Again, I'm holding down the command button, beat three, and then beat four. Okay, so this is what my metronome sound is going to track is going to sound like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit these earphones right here so that all of these are grayed out. You can only hear my metronome track and this is what it sounds like. I'm going to turn off this canned metronome thing. Okay, so now what I can do is I can make sure that track is highlighted. I'm going to go to edit, copy. I'm going to make sure it's lined up in measure two. I'm going to go to edit, paste, edit, paste, edit, paste. Now I've created four measures. So one, I'm going to hold the shift bar, hold the shift as I click on all those, and I'm going to go copy, paste. And now I have background metronome track. Row, row, row your boat gently row, down the stream. So that when I export it, then that metronome track will be in the background.